Oh god, I remember playing this original, the original version of this game and I bloody loved it. I cannot wait. <laughs> I hope it really is the start of the game though. God, it's warm. Yes, English. <clears throat> Uh, nah. Mm. Uninterested. Don't need it right now. Um, I'm not going to mess around with the settings. Only because I want to do this now. Um, playback device, TV, headphones, home theater. Uh. I'd say TV. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are all doing good today. I'm still not feeling great, just in case, you know, I end up needing to go off early. Like, my stomach's really dick. Oh my god, that's so pretty. <laughs> my stomach's still dicky, so if I need to go off, I will go off. Oh my god, I've already pre-ordered the full version. Oh, of course you had to return. God damn it. I want more Elder Dragons in this game, that's one thing I do want to say now. The original game didn't actually have that many Elder Dragons, because all of them were for events. And I didn't play the game when the events were available. Yay me! Ooh, lots of customizations. Mm. Yeah, I'll go that one. feeling this is the one I used on the old one. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, I can only rotate. I can't actually get a full view. I have a feeling that's going to be the hair, though. This makes me feel like Ben Byler. <laughs> the thing is, it'd be really close to my hair if it had a fringe, which it doesn't. So, there's that. <laughs> That one's way too straight. <laughs> the thing is though, this is the funny part, this is probably my favourite version of um, the idea behind doing quote unquote a collectathon sort of monster game. I actually prefer this over both Digimon and Pokemon, which says a bloody lot about how good this game, the original, was to me. That's about right for my hair. saw that Kazaha was actually really good and I really wanted him, but I wanted to save a ball instead. <laughs> that is also me as well over that. That's stupid now. Oh. Some of these are like way too wide-eyed. <laughs> Siren. <laughs> he can be Siren. No, no. Oh, for the love of God, hell no. The standard eyes are actually like the ones I like them the most. Oh, really? <laughs> Some of these are so good. Is, um, is that racist or not? I can't tell. Uh, standard, I suppose. I choose you. Oh, 
Why? Alright. Change both. Start with that. Oh god, it's a... Oh god, it's a manual one. Oh, kill me right bloody now. That's actually... I'd say that works. You can turn it to black, because why the hell not? And... Yeah, uh, I'd say that's actually pretty damn close. And you're pretty quiet compared to the music. Okay, let's have a quick check in my settings. I did not expect the audio to be Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, let's just... How's that? Let me know if that's good. If not, I'll modify it again. But yeah, I thought the audio was very bloody loud. Much better. Yuri A. Trump's a Sith. Sorry about that. There's just no way for me to um actually analyze it very thoroughly. Um... But yeah, I'd say that's about right. The ma <laughs> No. Some of these are real- That mouth is way too small. Why did they have to add the cat one? Why did they have to add a tooth one? No. To be fair, that one's not that bad. Just- That one's literally just got a little bit of makeup on. I'd say without, only because it'll match it to cutscenes probably better in my opinion. I don't like tribal makeup on any of my characters, I'm just curiously looking through them. Oh my god, they've got the bloody blush one back, really. I get that the characters are meant to be from a tribe based on, you know, the flowers and everything, but still, really. <laughs> you Look at what I can put on my character's face. And tribal edition of a version of a star. Nah. Um. I want to hear them. Uh. Why? Too deep. I get my voice is deep, but it's not that. One's too boring. Name. <laughs> Don't put anything offensive. Uh, got it. <laughs> I have no need to. Believe me, game. If I want it to be offensive, you think I'd do it in the character name? That just makes me look bad. Finally start can master the ancient art of flip. I'm not even finishing reading that. Nah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's good. I'd say that's good. <sighs> God, it's warm. <laughs> God, it's really warm. I know very little about this game, as I put in the description of this video, I've only looked at the roadmap of future content and I saw the original announcement trailer. That's it. That's all. <laughs> hey! Give us Raffles back, I want him- I want Rafa back. Didn't expect a song.
Okay, this is neat. And the little trailing on her arms is meant to be Rappalos wings, which I also really appreciate. Seems like this entire um, culture really appreciates Rappalos, which I'll take because Rappa was a good boy in the old game. <laughs> And literally the worst monster in the entire game <laughs> series to me. Don't want to. <laughs> uh. What the hell? Oh great, she's being chased by the fairies from Drinking Guard Free. <laughs> and that's meant to be threatening why. Oh, scout fly. All right. If there was a Kirin tribe, would they all be sadists? Yes. Rafa, it's our boy. Who's that cloud? He's still alive. It's our boy. Can we keep him? He's blind. Pretty sure that's the implication behind his eyes. Oh. I thought I'd never see you again. The boy. And he's been there for so long. Well, he. He's covered in moss. How still would you have to be for a lot of moss to grow on you? Oh great, we're going for the revenge plotline again. Dead parents. <laughs> Reoccurring from the first gear. You can't blame her, your bloody dad literally got himself involved in that shit, man. Don't glare at her, she didn't do anything. What is this? Safe looking, jump in, you'll find out. <laughs> this is a bad sign. No shit. Okay, that's a lot of raffles. What? I'm surprised there's no raffians. Oh, 
What a way to start. <laughs> hey, unlike before, like, here we are immediately seeing a parent die. Before we had to play at least a tiny little bit of a section before someone's parents died. <laughs> Mahana village, alright. Nice. Oh, she's got the herb symbol on her um thing. Dangerous Wapalos live there. Don't you think you should have mentioned that? What do you mean, dangerous? The Rapalos that inhabit the sacred mountain is Guardian Rafa. He protects this island. Hey, Guardian Rafa. The people it injured might say otherwise. That's that's because you raised your weapons at him. So you're saying we should stand before a monster unarmed? This is a rider's island. Brandishing weapons at Guardian Rafa is an unforgivable act. A bunch of homing isn't helping. You all lost your collective mind idolizing a wild Rathalos. Give me a break. Uh, I'll give you a break, all right. Okay, that's enough. Knock it off, both of you. The main reason we invited hunters to our island's festival was so that we could foster a little goodwill between us. Bad idea. That's right, besides, there are children listening. Please calm yourselves. Who cares? <laughs> Go for it. Kill each other. That's fine. Yes, I'm sir. fine with watching this. <laughs> well then, let's listen to the hunter's point of view, shall we? Why would you call Guardian Ratha dangerous? Because we were tipped off. Breezewing Ratha, the monster with the wings of ruin, lives on this island. The, uh, the wings of ruin? Hmm. Which yes. is... It's said that a beat of its wings can bring about waves of destruction. Mm. Yeah, but by child children Chief, they mean my character. You know about the wings of ruin? Because I've never heard of them. <laughs> ah yes, the wings of ruin. Legend has it that a long time ago, a Rathalos born in this region brought terrible chaos and destruction to our world. Why does my character look scared? I'd be all for this. That's that's only a legend, right? <laughs> Who can say? In any case, our top priority right now is to determine the cause of these strange happenings. Yes, of course. Why did the ocean change color? What was that light? And that was the ocean? Go? So much we don't understand. Let's organize an expedition team and survey the area. <laughs> you got it. Hell yeah, let's go. Give me monsters, I want a good- It's so funny to me that I really like the idea of a game that lets us um, make proper use of the monsters rather than just kill them outright. Join the expedition too? Hell yeah, give me a monster. I'm all for this. Know, this could be dangerous, and this kid only just became a real rider. Oh, they're actually letting me already be a real rider at this point. Sweet. That saves me effort. You're worried about Guardian Ratha, aren't you? Why would I be? That I... makes sense. He was your grandpa's monsty after all. Hey! It is Rafa! Oh, so okay, so our old protagonist is our grandparent here. Okay. And this confirms their mail, which makes sense considering the box art, but still. Your grandfather, Red, was a Red. upstanding writer. Yes, give him the same name as the protagonist of Pokemon. That, that'll that go great. <laughs> Fair enough. You do you. What a name for a person, though. Come on. He led our tribe and protected the island alongside Guardian Ratha for many years. So, is the old protag dead? Uh, I sure wish he was still around now. Okay, yeah, he is. <laughs> He'd know what to do. Yeah, he dead. All right. You will join the team. I was right, it is our Rafa. Hey! He's been laid in the same spot for a long time then. Jeez. Chief Gara, are you sure about this? It's a big job to dump on a rookie's shoulders. Shut up, I'm fine. 
Not to worry, Kana. We'll go together. Oh, I don't care about someone accompanying me. I can do this on my own. Just give me a monster. Kana can guide you. Use the experience to learn what you're capable of and what you must do as a rider. If I'm already a capable rider and already passed the test for that, shouldn't you trust me to make my own decisions instead of saying, you'll learn? So, I'll be a teacher? No, I'll be teaching you. <laughs> Something wrong? No way! It sounds kind of cool, actually. <laughs> if that's what you want, Chief, I'm all for it. <laughs> uh, I'm, you know what, fine, sure. Okay. Rider class is now in session. You better keep up, newbie. I completed the previous game. Shut up, lady. <laughs> first things first. Go change into your rider gear. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hey, at least in our case, it doesn't show off more of our body, wow, unlike you her. Part already. Meet me at the stables when you're ready. We'll start with rider rule number one. Yeah, give me a monster. Hell yeah. Birth of a rider. An ominous red light flashes on the night of the festival. The protector of the island, Guardian Rafa, disappears. What could be the cause of these strange events? Chief Gara orders the riders of the village to look into it. And so, you must take your very first steps as a new rider. Okay. I'm not reading tutorial stuff. <laughs> That's not a thing I'm willing to read aloud. Okay. And they gave me an oversized sword again. Hmm. Skeptical old man. Skeptical. Hey, I can vibe with that. You. Oh, really? An Apton offer? You? Come on! I want better than that. Took you long enough. Don't give me an Apton off, please. Hey, don't. Hey. Sure to become a top-notch rider in no time. Now I'll manage fun on my own, lady. Yeah, that's the spirit. Let's get started. Rider rule number one. Riders form bonds with monsters, and they in turn become our monsties. Which reminds me, you still don't have a monstie, right? Then the first step is to go out and hunt for an egg that'll hatch one. Thank you. you don't give me enough. Monsties during your search. Ah, I don't want your monster. Oh, okay. This okay. Here is Ronmar. What a name. He's a bit wild, but once you get the hang of riding him, he's Aww. Oh, it purrs. You know, newbie, seeing you takes me back to the time when I first rode a monsty. Yeah, they literally call monsters a mixture of monster and bestie. Anyway, enough about me. <laughs> There's something very important I need to tell you. It's stupid. I just call monsters them monsters. Like of our bodies, you know? They take us wherever we want to go, but they're not to be manipulated. They're living creatures. You could even say they're our best friends. You need to care for them and always remember to show your gratitude. Yeah, I'll manage that okay. fine. As long as you understand that, you're set. By hunting a lot of eggs for perfect breeding. <laughs> well, perfect genes. In it, you can find helpful info about monsters and all the writer's fundamentals. Meh. Try opening the menu to read all of your notes. That's the fourth wall brick there. Now that we've got that settled, it's time to go egg hunting. I can't wait to get started. Okay, I'm likely only start with that weapon. Oh, 
fine. Not that the weapon really matters too much because it doesn't actually affect your personal gameplay experience very much, unlike the actual game. You know, the actual series main installments. So weird having such a good grasp of the controls in this game. Hey, cunning, alright. First, you gotta do is go to the air and keep loading until you find damn eagle eggs. Nah. Hell no. Ooh, this location. Oof. Oh, lit, we're gonna be able to go on the water as well. Because, yeah, that's a thing. You get to unlock flight and swimming later on in the old game, so I'm assuming the same will definitely apply here. I thought we were using a monster. Why do you have two of the same monster? What the hell is wrong with you? Why would you do that? Yes. Let me on the monster. Yeah. And of course there's the jump as well. Yes. I'm all for that. Aptonoff murder. Let's bloody go. Actually I want that item. Gimme. Aptonoff murder. Here we go. The character portraits look stoned as hell. <laughs> I can see that. Okay, the menu's a bit different. It's actually better laid out than it was previously. Yeah, I know how this works. I remember the previous game. Yeah, that's the thing I find interesting. Yeah, Monster Hunter Stories is turn-based and un and it goes by basically rock, paper, scissors mechanics, but you can apply um, certain skills to certain monsters. And then you've got your ultimate attacks for your monsters as well. It's kind of funny, it reminds me of um, an arcade machine I used to play as a kid for Dinosaur King. Because that used rock, paper, scissors mechanics. I wonder if anyone actually knows the machines I'm talking about. You, it dispense... I think it cost a pound... I don't know how much it cost in another country, but it cost a pound to play over here and it'd dispense a card each and every time that you paid to play the machine. Okay, someone actually remembers the machines. I approve. Thank you. Someone actually understands what I mean, because I still have all my cards from that, because I'd go to the same place every single summer to play on those machines. And I loved those machines. Or I can just not. I don't need to use a herb. I'm pretty good, thanks. Oh my goodness. Okay, this should be speed focused, so I'm debating on technical. 
Yes. I know that you can swap between power attacks as well. If you swap to power, I'm gonna take more damage. Screw it. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, I want to use kinship. Oh really? Oh, fine. I want the big attack. The fun one. This game looks so bloody good. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was way simpler. <laughs> just click X, just click X. I don't need to sell stuff really. And I can manually sell stuff otherwise. Jumping. Yep, jumping. Let me use jumping. I don't see how we put the skills to use. The monster can just jump and we're just kind of here on its back while it does that. <laughs> yeah, I know how gathering works as well. I was a hoarder in this in the original version of this game. Hold and keep everything, even if you don't need it. Big old tree. Shh. Hold on. Something's here. Keep quiet and stay close, okay? I'm not worried. Let me do what I want. Oh, you. You. That's a Kulu Yaku. You gave me oh, such a headache in world when I first fought you. <laughs> Okay. There's a mood. Ha! No. That would destroy the egg.
Navaru. Uh -huh. I thought I was a goner. I was taking a cat nap when all of a sudden I got attacked. Hearing your voice freaks me out. You. you look like a feline, but Navaru. Somehow different. Yeah. With my whip beyond compare and unparalleled flair, you're absolutely right. The voice. I'm not like other felines now that you mention it. I'm the legend, the feline hero. That's right. I'm Naviru. Experimental uh, one. Um, I've never heard of any feline hero. Look out! He was a partner in the old game. Bird. No way. This kid's still a rookie. No Shut way. up. I'll be right here to lend a helping paw. Well, looks like it's time to ride on. Ride. No, no. Ride. No, that's just. Oh. You have to bring the worst of us out. God damn it. <laughs> Look at the big old mountain in the background. Actually, you'll potentially use technical. I have a feeling you'll be technical in power or technical in speed. There's no harm in drawing. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Aww. Paul Bugger. You get to deal so much more damage. Let's see. Okay, you're locked onto doing technical attacks for some reason. Monsters would normally do at least, like, past the very first monster you encounter. They'd have more than one type that they could potentially switch to. Hmm. Fair enough. The game wants it to be easy. The game can let it be easy, I suppose. It is the demo the very beginning of the game. Take this hat. I can swap weapons mid-battle? I don't remember if I could do that in the original. Did I do that in the original? I don't think I could. That's neat as fuck. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Bitch! That's neat. I appreciate that because I do not remember us being able to swap weapons in the original game. Or if we could, I never utilised that mechanic because I used them. Um... In the game, you tend to get bonuses for having the um, same... For using a monster's parts to make the armour of the monster you're using as your mount. So, for example, if you had Pink Raffian, if you had an armour and weapon of pink raffian you'd get bonus damage look there's power attack Really a damn rock. They've added some neat animations in. 
There's the rider gauge. I remember how this works. I just want to use it to see the animation. Do an animation this time, hey! They're gonna add new monsters and give me bezel geese. <laughs> Oof. Rip. Now give me your egg. <laughs> Yeah, that's something. That's a sad reality. This game looks way better than Pokemon Sword and Shield did by a million years. Hearing you voiced is mind fucky as hell. I know. Even the monster's like, nah. If you really want to thank no. Me, I wouldn't say no to a couple of donuts. <laughs> no. You know, you should just ask for something to eat if you're hungry. Monster bullying. This furball's not like other felines, huh? But hey, you got an egg out of the deal. Wanna head home? Monster bullying. That could be a gif of this game bullying Pokemon. <laughs> yes, we hatched the egg. I wonder how the hell we're gonna be very precise on the eggs, because in the original you press certain spots of the egg to um, get stats out of hatching them, which uh, is a little awkward to do considering um, controller. If it was touch screen it'd be real easy, but because it's not <laughs> that's not gonna fly exactly. But hey, whatever. I'm cool f I'm cool with this. Hmm. hmm. Excellent. I hear that you you know what, never mind. the one who found this egg a tribe makes donuts I can tell a good egg just by the smell which he I can see. just as Kana said you are an odd feline that is a function you did have in the original really? game no quality when you see it it's a very fine egg I'd say you're going to hatch a great little monster from it right let me do that then. What kind of monster it'll be? I can't wait to find out. Go on, stand in front of it. Prod the egg with a rock. What the hell are you doing? What the fuck? What are you doing? Bloody weirdo. Yeah, I could tell they extended considering the little um, indentations in the wood, but still. Wait, doing? 
His feet. Ceremonial dance of our people. His feet have it to bring claws. To a ship's voyage, or to pray that a strong and healthy monster will hatch from an egg. Whoa! Awesome move! Look, he's got bloody claws. What the hell? How does that make sense? In before it's Magnum Allen, not a chance. <laughs> Ready? Now hold up your kinship stone. It will link your heart with your monsty and help it hatch. Believe in yourself. You can do this. Oh, power of friendship. Shut up, lady. I'd appreciate if they got rid of the tapping mechanic. Hey, Baby Kulu. What in the hell would I name you? Actually, I want to look at your stats. Okay, you've got a lot of genes. Well, a lot of slots for genes. Only two are missing. That's neat. But still. Hmm. Slightly increases the user's defense. <laughs> uh, vicious small. Hmm. Fair enough. Okay. You know, I'm gonna call it what I think it should be called because realistically, this should have been the case. I'm so out of sync with the Switch controller because it's been so long since I've played anything on Switch. Considering that egg smashed against someone's face and was being chased by a big bird, it should be scrambled. It should be scrambled, so it is being called scrambled. Now check if it's got brain damage. Nicely done. It's already accepted you as its rider. I'm so proud. Don't touch my, my face. To Stop touching my face, you bloody weirdo. Huh? What you doing, Ronmar? You want to stay with the rookie? Hey. Seriously? Huh? And after everything I've done for you, you got ditched. Ronmar's just being honest with his feelings. Perhaps if you were gentler with him, maybe. Hmm? Oh, is that so, Mr. Hero? Ooh. Come now, Kana. There's no harm in it. All right, fine. After seeing how much you've bonded, I can't exactly object. Just. You have another one. You literally replaced him. Yes, I'll take care of him by sacrificing him for his genes. I'm joking. Got it? Nice going, buddy. Ha. Good, Ranma. Never abuse is accepted here. You've got Ronmar as a monster now too. So what should I have you do next? Murder things. Ah, what good timing. There's a new monster den on Rider Overlook. You'll go investigate for me, won't you? Yes. Rider Overlook, huh? That sure takes me back. Going there is a rite of passage for new riders. Your grandpa had me go there all by myself. I still hadn't gotten the hang of handling Ronmar. It was a real thrill ride, I can tell you that. All riders have to strike out on their own someday. This is your chance to test yourself. No need to worry now. What's the name? What do you think, Kana? 
Chief Gara is right. You may still be a rookie, but I trust you to take this on alone. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm no rookie. I played oh, the previous game. You're gonna need Ronmar to get up there. That little beastie just loves to climb up high. Sweet. I'll help too. Just say the word, buddy. Right, we can launch you up there first to get the attention of anything at the top. Okay, before you go, it's time for another lesson. The next essential for being a rider is combining. You can make lots of items to help in the field or during battle. Oh great, we get to mix our herbs. I'm I was gonna actually, I just fucked that joke up. I was gonna say, we get to mix our drugs. I mean herbs. Herbs is the word, yes. <laughs> just select combine from the camp menu and mix several items together to create something new. Here, take this combo recipe and try making a potion. It shouldn't be too hard to find the ingredients. You're gonna need to know about the quest board too. So meet me there when you're ready for your next lesson. Works for me. I already know what it does, but whatever. Let's go. One sec, my um, the thing I observed the live chat with just went on standby. Don't do that. But yeah, no, he really does look like the King of Hyrule. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at lead. Um, I want to see your stats. Okay, your attack is way better. Nest search is really useful though. You'll improve in time. We can we can work on that. Let me just accept all the quests and murder things, alright? That's all I need. Just gonna nab all these side quests just because I can. Gimme. Oh great, the bugs. Come here. Wow. Thank you. I'm not brave, you're just a pussy, kid. I mean what? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. A donut. Really? game looks so good. I love it. Okay, let's just take... Give, 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 give! <laughs> okay, sweet pressure. Mm. Okay, I need honey. Raw meat, easy to get. Commodity meh. Try gathering. Hatch an egg. Combining the plans. Uh, trial quest. Larion. Uh, I could try. Finish in under one turn. I might actually. It might actually be best to wait, only because I'm not high enough level to do it in one turn, and I'd like all the items. Um, oh, what? I can change the time of day by choice now? Ooh. 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 A 
like that. I like that a lot. That means there's more opportunity for monster spawns and for them to be controllable as well. I approve big style of that. Up I go. Good. Give. Honey, need. Need. The thing is, I can easily get down and I'll just start attacking things. Aggression! Bitch! That was almost a one shot. I'm so proud of you. Right on, next turn. And that should actually heal. Yeah, it does. Nice. And. No. Technical. Piss. Oh. Pussy. Now kinship skill. Since I want the animation. Okay, similar to before, but they've added um, the effect of like the gravel being kicked up, which is neat. Because what I want is to eventually be able to make the armor as well. Oh, hell yeah. We're going in the monster then. That's a non debatable factor. The moment it's seen. Oh, yeah, we're doing this. We can party like this. I'm all for it. Considering you're a Velocidrone, drone, I'm assuming that you'll switch attack. Unless they really have made you a joke in comparison to before. Oh, buddy. you'd get a free turn of doing that instead. I approve. And his is one of the things I actually kind of enjoyed. Ride. Oh, and there's the swap. Fuck you. I thought so. Bastard. <laughs> I feel it again though. Mm. I'll, I'll do kinship skill. Be safe. What the hell are you doing? Really? <laughs> I approve. Oh, piss off, really. Ooh, Moxie. Oh, 
Oh, I could have had four hearts doing that. Oh well. I approve of that skill. That was great. <laughs> That was a great animation. Hmm. Mine. Ooh. I wonder what stuff can be found this early on. Probably nothing ridiculously good. I'm just, I hope they don't make it so the herbivores are gettable as monsters because that was always really, really disappointing whenever that happened in the original. When I'm ranged, it swaps to power instead. And that's Killer Strike. Heal me back up. Nice. Okay. This should work. Yep. Okay. Victory. I wonder how hard it is to get certain monster genes. And here's a nest. Okay, what the hell is that then? Bloody Aptanol. I, I just said it, didn't I? Don't make me have a bloody Aptanol. And that's gonna be the uh, egg of the thing I've currently got. No. <laughs> Hell no, it's not. Ooh. That's an animation. That's probably an Aptanol egg. Uh, it's a new monster. I'll take it. Can I still not get on the back of a monster after that? No, I still can. Alright, fine. Fine. Mm. If it's not an apt enough, I'll be actually quite surprised. I'm just gonna throw the assumption it is. Yeah, it is. It's humble herbivore. It's either an apt enough or the big thing we saw before. Come here, buddy. <laughs> They're all 
people go in for me? Are you fucking serious right now? Asshole. I don't. Hmm. I may end up needing to heal if I don't sort myself out here. Because two Moxie down is not a good position to be in. this. Oh, you had to defend now. Oh, shit. Yeah, there it is. attacks right on okay Can get straight back on. Sweet. Nice. Quest. Come on. Okay, I actually have to jump up at them. I remember them swarming me in the last game. They'll probably be technical attackers. So, what I'm gonna do is switch to you. Because I've just a gut feeling you'll be technical attackers. And then I'm gonna do this. Yep. Good guess. Well, to be fair, it's an educated guess based on the previous game. Pretty sure these enemies were in the previous one. Turn up the speed. Turn it up any faster? No, it can only be times three. That's fine. You can't have much help. <laughs> she just got stunned. Why the 
hell would I heal you? I need the heal. Blech. Still not a win. Okay. What? Hopefully you didn't hear that. Someone outside decided to go right past the house on a motorbike for no good reason, but whatever. Really obnoxious engine, really? Ugh, whatever. more honey and more rummy <laughs> yeah okay another two i want to go in there but at the same time i also don't want to die so Back to the island to heal. Well, village. Yeah, I muted my microphone. I just wondered if you actually caught it in the audio at all. So thanks for that affirmation. And oh yeah, I'm hatching the egg. Okay, so no clicking it automatically gives you the stats. I approve of this. Thought it was an app for now. I really... I hit... I hear the fact it doesn't just automatically delete at the moment I say that I want a new name, that doesn't mean insert the name that's already there. <laughs> it's good that we had the same train of thought, I just called it exactly what I thought I should. And now I have all the attack types. <sighs> As standards. Um, actually, no. I want to check something real quick. I want to check it so I can definitely rename the monsters at will because that was something I didn't figure out about. Yeah, I can. Oh, I appreciate that. Because in the original, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I you could only name them when you got them and that was it you couldn't rename them or at least that's my memory of the game and it was shit let me pet fine don't let me pet fine okay i need a catavan to quickly save That's the good luck part. Welcome. There's upgrading an armory. Let's see if I can forge anything. Um, forging a weapon would be good, but at the same time, it's not necessary. Ooh. Nah. Hmm. It's like I'll probably definitely want you. How many? It costs more than what I've got. Yeah, that shit. Nah. <laughs> B 
the armor's cheaper than that. God damn it. Standard armor gear. Look how ugly the Velocidrone's armor is. At least this looks kind of neat. Quip. And I will have to come back for the other stuff because I'll want a weapon. Either that or that. I'm thinking the bow. The hunting horn is powerful. The skill is also probably more beneficial. Hunting horn would actually be the better choice here. Thank you. I don't aim on upgrading gear at this point in the game though because none of the gear will actually be definite to stick with me. Um... What I am going to do is swap the lead to you, only because then I get- I'm pretty sure I should get a bonus for this. Okay, I need- That's the connection one. And you... I'm trying to remember the icons on this screen. Oh god, it's been so long since I played the original. Nothing here. Stubborn old woman, what a name, huh? Hmm. Your house it'll be in I should have the option to save in here Navaru's outfits have been added here okay nothing currently which makes a lot of sense okay I can modify the actual oh I can change the armor color oh that's cool that'll be really neat later And there we go. They added extra save slots. Hey! Quality life changes. Thank you. That is something I wanted in the original. More opportunities to make saves. Afternoon. Hey. Red and Red and Red and Rara, gimme. This is non negotiable. Ooh. Fangos, leave me the hell alone. Okay, nah. Spider web. I just completely ignored the treasure chest, didn't I? Leave me alone. Please chase me if you want me. Uh, scratch, I said that. <laughs> Mine. There we go. Now I can go for the egg. Hopefully you guys can hear me fine in comparison to the game audio now. There's honey. Let's 
Sorry, you're gonna see me hoard a lot of items in this game. It is the way to go though. You save yourself a lot of money down the road. No monsters yet. <laughs> yeah, yet. Meh. No, it's not the egg I want. That's gonna be a cool Yuku one. I don't want it. I don't want a second. This is a Velocidrone one, I'm pretty sure. Just based on the coloration. Huh. I think it should be. Humble bird wyvern egg. Oh my, uh, okay. Let's just quickly check. Question for raw meat. Random commodities. I'll try and find more bugs and then I'll continue on with what's currently available in the actual main quest. I really want to hit these herbivores, but I feel mean. So. Okay, they do come to me when they feel like it. I hate the fact I'm using such a weak one, but power attack. These things focus on technical, so power attackers are just ideal for this. to me but you need healing yourself now ow asshole now they're all ganging up on me
one down. Whew. I want to get to level three. Then I'll trigger the skill. Kingship. You. Ooh. Oof. I'm not going further in. I'll go where the game wants me to now. Oh god, you. On here. Okay. Give. Yep, already seen a rare monster then. <laughs> Thanks, game. The monster's a good jumper. Now. Insects are included in the random crap we can grab. But yeah, I'm just gonna grab everything. As said, hoarding saves you a lot of trouble later on in the game. Because money is everything. <laughs> no, I see that chest on the map. Oh, do me a favor, we need to fuck alone. I can't. I need a monster that can let me. Mm, that sucks. Yeah, I know. The noises in the background. <laughs> Jesus. Have a not fight. More than anything, I'm just curious about finding stuff. Unique mushroom, okay. You want some unique shrooms for your drug addictions in this game. Leave me alone. Blech. Okay. Oh my nose. Please don't start running. I don't I don't need this. Why up to Nox? <sighs> God. 
Please stop running. Ugh. Yeah, we cross over here and we go down there. Hey buddy, leave me the hell alone, alright? I'm just doing my own thing. A paratoad. Shrooms. And defending an egg. Okay. Or I can just murder it. to bully it to death. Healing home, nice. I know how eggs work. Before I do eggs, I want items. As I said, being a hoarder in this game saves you trouble down the road. Please give me something new. No. Uh, no. Can I just drop it? I don't want it. It's not a good egg. I've already gotten a better egg. <sighs> I just fell onto enemies. <laughs> well, that's the element of surprise, all right. God damn it, really, game. Lucky. That saves me some effort. thing you can get from 
wasted eggs as genes, and currently I'm not at the point where I can probably even remotely take the genes of anything. The only benefit landing on those apps and off has done me is complete the quest, I'm pretty sure, for raw meat. Mine. Well, let's just actually get wrong one. This one. Yeah, it's done the raw meat quest is there. That one, God knows. Uh, those shrooms I haven't come across yet. Combine enough items. I should start combining items once I hand in the quest. This will reset my moxie at least. That's a new side quest, isn't it? Yeah. Or it's a handed in one. Yeah, that's a hand in, I think. Yeah, that's a hand in. Here you go. Hi there. That's great. And I can now make a new weapon thanks to that woman. Thank you, lady. I know the weapon I want. Welcome. Hunting horn time. Main or sub? Uh, I'll put on the main and then put the sub weapon. Actually, I can do sub two. I'll put the other one as the sub two instead. Um, I also want this. Hmm. I'll hand in another quest and I'll make Thank that you. too. Big old thing to You'd think that the character would just like be like almost toppling over with this thing on their back, but hey, whatever. Oh look, Ludruff is back. Let me whack it while it sleeps. Mm -hmm. Ah, I can't even hatch the other eggs until. Ah, oh, fine. Meh. Be fair. I'll complete the others when I do the hatching, so I can level up the other things. But now I have money, so I can make the other sword. But yes, the spongy boy is back. Tempted by this, but that can wait. Thank you. Actually, I can buy. What can Welcome. I buy from you? Probably a lot of shit. Mm. Ooh, gun lines. <laughs> It's like crafting I'm sure is infinitely better in this game but there's no harm in having extra armor if you didn't like get the gist of the game already 
monster hunters, monster hunter. What do we always do in these games? We murder things and make armor and weapons out of their corpses. Yay, you're back! How'd you like your first solo quest? Pretty wild, right? Easy. I was worried you might get lost or something. I'm super glad to see you all in one piece. I feel like I'm being looked down on. And not just literally. Huh, was it easy? You look completely unfazed. Yes, it was easy because it was a really easy quest. Yes, there's no denying your reds granted. No. That was just a really easy task. And a terrible egg. <laughs> you even brought back an egg. Splendid work. Now let's scramble it. Oh wow, you're right. I'm a better teacher than I thought. You didn't do shit. I already knew all of this. Which is it? Thanks to your teaching or because this is Red's grandkid? Huh. <laughs> Even he is calling her out. And it's Naviru we're talking huh, about here. Cares? The newbie did a great job and that's what counts. Yes. What do My you think, effort. Dana? They're ready for the next one, wouldn't you say? Really? Isn't it a little too soon for the rookie to handle alone? No. Hmm. You should go with them too, just in case. No. I can Why I so can manage. Serious, guys? Whatever it is, we can handle it. Yes. We've had reports of some recent turf wars in the Pona grasslands. Oh, this is going to be fun. Turf wars? What's that? They added them in. <laughs> the monsters fight over territory. Yes. Yes. We've even found badly injured monsters in the grasslands. We can't just let them tear each other apart. It'll be bad news for the island's ecosystem if we do. But that's natural order. That's the point. So normally animals fight each other I've because they're both competing for the same prey. Or it's an invasion on territory. Which, in that case, like, the point of getting territory in the first place is for mating reasons and to guarantee prey. Let's get moving. I'll meet you at the edge of the village. So it's a matter of kill the invaders. But hey, whatever. Y you, y you think we should disrupt natural order? Yeah, alright, sure. That's how it works. <laughs> I'll hatch the eggs I got. Then I'll go. It's like, you're gonna be good. But I feel bad about the one I currently have. I look at the genes on this thing. It's got complete gene pool. That's actually really damn good. It's like even when you got rare monsters in the original game, they normally didn't have complete genes available, so this is actually really nice. Hmm. I'll check. I'll just click OK for now. I'm gonna hatch you then, and then I'm gonna sacrifice you to whatever god there is in this world. The Elder Dragons can eat you. Meh. I look at the locked jeans on that. So look, Ranmar isn't even like I'm not gonna get rid of Ranmar, but I am gonna swap him out. But he's nowhere near as good as the one I just hatched. <laughs> Which says bloody everything. Complete jeans. 
Incomplete jeans. Complete jeans. Borderline mediocre jeans. And then dog shit jeans. Uh, so. Release you. What should I name you? Hmm. Hmm. What should I name you? I wonder. What did I name my original one? I don't think. I don't remember. Yeah, basically, this is the equivalent of IVs in this, but instead, um, what you unlock a function later on in the game that lets you, um, actually take the genes of other monsters to boost specific things that your monster can do or give them potentially skills so you can sacrifice for example like a raffalos or something to give another monster good stuff so as you can see there it's got its entire grid of genes so as it levels up it'll unlock all those genes that you can then add other monsters genes onto those slots by getting rid of them so this game has its own system for it and it's actually a complaint I mentioned in the description that I had about the original game. It was so hard to get good genes for monsters until really late game. Now I'm going to keep the original Renmar because I'll feel bad for set for destroying it. So I will keep it but <laughs> yeah, nowhere near as good as my one. I'll, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Runma's now there. And put you there just to avoid you getting me killed. And now, hand in those quests, it'll get levels for the new one. Oh yeah, I'm not releasing it though. It's the first thing I got in the game. I am one of those people who will find sentimental attachment to anything you give me. So there's levels. It's interesting Renmaster levels despite I don't actually have it with me right now. Why is she leveling up? What? Oh no, that was her. Okay. You give me a quest once. Now. Really? Fine. <laughs> I'm bitter about that, I won't lie. Okay, I should go to the character's house and save. Then go out. You can't even release Ran Ranma even if you wanted to. That's fine. As said, I really don't mind the idea of that. Because I kind of feel like it's a bit sentimental at this point. God, this game feels nice to play. It's moments like these you'll find the humanity in me because I actually do end up genuinely caring about the things that I end up like recruiting onto my side. Once I give something a name, I have some form of attachment to it. So like I'll keep scrambled even though I could get a better Kuluyuku just because it's the first egg I hatched in the game. Let's go check out where these turf wars have been happening. Sounds good. But what are we gonna be checking out? Well, obviously we're going to find some monster tracks. 
Monsters leave traces behind wherever they go. We can follow those to wherever the monsters are now. Now where are my scout well, flies? Okay. But how are we supposed to follow a trail in such a huge area? No worries. I've got us covered. I really make the monster smell. Oh. What? Once we find the tracks, these little fellas will do the rest. Hey, that's perfect for me. And that's convenient. Can use these flashy things? Even my buddy over here? Of course. They're a vital part of any rider's toolkit. They were not a part of the rider's toolkit in the previous game. <laughs> they didn't exist for the previous game. I'll show you what to do once we find some tracks. Watch for me. I wonder how far the demo lets us go before it's like, yeah, no, min game time. Useful functionality. Give me those. Hell. Yeah, I remember the option. It's currently on because the helmet doesn't look too bad. I do hate the helmets on some of the outfits, but this one's not particularly awful. She just saved me effort. I'll take it. That was free. The noise for getting all of the rewards really does sound like Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Listen to it the next time it happens. You'll see what I mean. I want this. I'm murdering you for the sake of my anger. These things annoyed me in the main game just for knocking me over at random. I'm gonna swap you real quick to you because I have a feeling they're gonna be power. Nice. 
And now you can't unhear it. Sorry. <laughs> Tis the way of the game. It's not my fault that they used similar <laughs> UI sound effects. Complete. Mm. More raw meat. Oh, they let you retake quests again. Hmm. I'm gonna have to kill conchus at some point. That's fine. Stone collector, meh. Offer charms. Philosopher. I'll kill these in passing only because quests. Hmm. Meta. Hopefully that noise wasn't annoying. I accidentally knocked my microphone with my hand when I stretched. Huh. Where did the philosopher go? Alright, fine. Okay, game. I want that though. Snippy lava. Check it out, buddy. Over there. <sighs> I remember you. Yin Kuku or something on the t on the lines of that. I think that's your name. I got you early last game. You ruin everything, Navaru. You ruin everything, and you should be a technical attacker. Yep, Ian Kukku, I was right. But yeah, you should be technical. So I shouldn't actually have to swap. Yeah, I'm right. Sweet. Break the face. Remembering stuff from the previous game works in my favour. I've almost broke its face. Oof. You can't fly on this thing despite it has wings, which really bothered me in the last game. I got so disappointed I couldn't fly on it. And now I can get its egg. 
because it's retreating, so if they let me follow after it, I should be able to actually get the egg. Because it'll go back to its den. Yeah, there it is. Because you use paintballs to try and force a retreat. Because I had to do a lot with um, Black Diabolos in the previous game. <laughs> Getting Black Diabolos in the previous game for me was a nightmare and I hate it. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this first. Speaking of paintballs, there we go. Paintbox. I know I recommended hoarding in the previous game, but, well, in general. Eggs. Priority. I win. At least they don't make me roam as far and you don't have to go into separate zones of the area anymore because in the old game you had to roam through individual little parts to be able to get eggs which was really annoying because there was a lot of loading. I played the 3DS version just to specify. And Catavan. Catavan. Yes, I remember you. The animation. Ah. This is almost like my own little home coming. Now, hatch the bird. Dang. It's small. Not bad, but not great. So I can only tend to name now, ever since the last game discovering about um, how genes work, I only tend to name ones with perfect genes because I know that otherwise I will eventually be replacing them with better stuff. I murdered something. We tracked down a young Kutfu. We think that was the one stirring up trouble. Hmm. A young Kutfu, huh? They ignored the eye in there, and I don't know how I feel about that. It's like I think Yi Yan is. Because there's an eye. I get that letters can be silent, it's just it's how I've always read it, so that's gonna really mess with me now. 
No worries, though. My buddy here gave it what for and even brought back an egg. Yeah, I've already hatched it. You were able to hold your own, huh? Well done. Yeah, it was easy. I didn't expect this day to come so soon. But I think it's time to have the barriers taken down. Gee. I'll make the arrangements at once. Until that's finished, please continue with your investigation. Nice going, newbie. Whoa, don't you get it? This is a really big deal. Taking down those barriers means you have permission to go see Guardian Rafa. Yeah. That's my buddy for you. Even the chief is starting to see how great you are. I want to pat him. I'll go get started. Meet me in the center of the village when you're ready to set out. I want to pat him. Hey buddy, I spotted a suspicious Neelix over by the harbor before. What do you say we go check him out while Kana is setting things up? Mealing's ink. Okay, we've got our own personal drug dealer. Bottle caps. What are the bot? of the island huh i was just getting ready to head there myself perfect we've got a date with an everden wait you mean the south kamuna everden that place has kind of a notable history you know w what kind of history just correct my posture jesus christ Ugh. something bizarre happened there years ago right in the very depths of the den okay something bizarre there was a big fuss about a huge monster showing up there. The village sent some riders to investigate. And... What did they find? In the low light, they could just make out a monster with pale white whiskers and shimmering blue eyes. White whiskers? Huh. White whiskers? And blue eyes? A hulking, tanned creature was dancing around the den. A tanned monster? It is dancing around the den? What kind of monster was this? White whiskers, blue eyes, nice tan? You. That sounds just like Chief Gara. <laughs> yeah. Joking. That's what it was. Wait, what? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! How could they mistake him for a monster? I know, right? Complete lack of respect. He just laughed it off. But the riders who'd hyped themselves up for a battle didn't find it so funny. Tuh. That dance must have been pretty peculiar to fool everyone like that. Nobody had ever seen a human move like that before. He was more like a fanged beast. This is the moment where you discover a Raja who was there instead. Whoops, now I'm starting to sound disrespectful. Anyway, how about we get going? Here's hoping we don't run into any actual monsters. What are you talking about? If the monster has a good egg, I don't care. Hey, I hope Nagaganta is in this game. I want a bunch of Elder Dragons in this game, if anything. As said, in the original there weren't many that you could actually find in the standard game. Most of them were restricted to event, which was really dumb. And I didn't appreciate. I 
I'll kill you just because I'm here. Because you're part of a quest. This will be a technical attacker. I'm pretty confident it will be. Either technical or power, it's not going to be speed. Yep. Hey. My memory of this game is actually, well, of the previous game is pretty damn decent. <laughs> it's been so long since I played it. Damn. I don't want to fight you. Uninterested. Well, I will fight you. Loss of prey. Number one on the list. Okay, let's go technical. Mm. Harding. It is a good idea in this game. Okay. The locations don't even change. That's interesting. Well, let's go. I'm all for this. That's so bizarre, though. I don't remember any dens in the game. I'm trying to think on if there were dens in the original that didn't swap location. I don't think there were. I could be misremembering. you'll discover as you progress through this game there is very little reason to not be sat on your monster's back whenever you do stuff in the game. Two should be dead by the end. Yep. That's the way. Double. Once I've got everything related to certain monsters, I'll start selling stuff. I can't cross there without swimming, and I don't have swimming yet. Yep. Thanks, game. I want that chest. Hmm. There's two potential ways I could go. Alright. The swift first. Oh, hi. How the hell did you miss me? I'm after this bugger. I'm gonna switch only because that speed attack's gonna get me damaged and I don't want it. We'll swap for power. 
You are going to live up to your namesake and you're going to like it. than I need to. Let's go. Oof. Nope, not not my intention. I know that normally I wait, but while it's down, it's a crit, so bonus damage. It's warm still. <laughs> oh yeah, one thing I am gonna quickly check. Stone collector. Okay, I need another two to murder. Fair enough, take care of yourself. Money! Sweet. And there's a chest over there, too. May as well get that. Because I can't get that one. Need a water traverser. Huh. One thing that made me sad is in the original, Lagaya Chris wasn't a monster that you could get despite it being a really well known monster. Look at this asshole. You all saw that. Even in this game, they try to be dicks and ram you. King Truffle. Hmm. Both of you leave me the hell alone. All three of you leave me the hell alone. Okay, I need jump. Gully 
get cool. Dead monster, you. Ooh. Give. <laughs> I got a free bow. I didn't even have to make it. Yes. Okay, let's have a go into my equipment. Where's my sub slots? I could have put that on before. You I'm getting swapped with you. I can completely ignore it to be fair, I don't even need to go near it. This game runs so nice. Ah, uh, fuck off. Bulldrum, kill. You should be power. I doubt the demo will go on much longer. I'd assume it'll stop before we go to Rafa. That's my assumption anyway. I don't trust this. I'm assuming it's going to be power. Yep. No, there's something else. Something's gonna go horribly wrong. I don't like it. The moment the game mentions something's gonna pounce, something else is joining the fight. Okay, that's a new. Oh, for the look. Are you. Alright, they added Anjanaf. Okay. You're gonna be a power attacker, there's no way you're not. And this is only gonna go badly. Even the game's like, get the hell out of here. Whew, he got away. Don't worry, we should be safe now. Get a bitter bugs. What was that thing? I was expecting a dancer, not some kind of raging nightmare. Look, just calm down. I'll explain. That was an Anjanaf. It's a fierce monster for sure, but it usually keeps its distance from humans. I have a feeling this is all connected somehow. We better head home and warn everyone. Sounds like a plan. Let's skedaddle. All oh, this stress isn't good for my heart. <laughs> Naviru, wait. That's a dead end. Hey, who's the navigator here? You really think I wouldn't? Huh? <laughs> Buddy! Are you seeing this too? A treasure chest? Looks like that shady Neelix is telling the truth after all! Grab the bottle caps and let's get out of here! We 
can steal an egg, the game's just like, yeah, you know what? You almost died. Take free stuff. It'll help you. It'll help alleviate your pain from being really fucked up. Fango egg. In the old game, they give you rewards for finding all the different species and actually earning them. What will lead monster to you? Just to get my last ones towards the um, quest. Sweet. Okay. that blue den? No, it was just the lighting. I was about to say, if they gave me like a specialised den at this point in the game, I'd actually be really surprised. <sighs> okay. I'll hatch the egg only because it unlocks a new species of creature and then I'll continue. the eyes of this thing. It's got the eyes of a demon. Rightfully so, bloody asshole. Your jeans suck. Let's have a quick look at your skills, because the monsters do have their own functionality when it comes to roaming around. Dash. Yeah, you make roaming around faster. Monster search and rock breaker. Okay, I'll add you both, only because of functionality reasons. But yeah, they make it so things are very useful to have on your actual team instead of just throwing you with whatever the hell and being like, oh yeah, you can use this. Uh, I want you, you, actually.
Let's have a look. Ooh. Okay. Azura Summer at this point. Guard heal. Recover some HP after guarding. That's nice. Kelby. You can actually get hairstyles? Huh. That's cool. Okay. You can unlock more customization as for rare items. Okay. Either it's going to stop soon before we see Rafa or just after we see him. It's my fault. Hmm. Is the North Kamuna investigation over already? <coughs> if it is, then the we failed. Side. Something must have happened. Is everything all right? I'm just going to mute myself real quick to get a drink. Okay, there we go. Kena, it's uh, uh, there's a monster running wild uh, in North Kamuna Forest. You guys look like you're in pain. You sure you're okay? Go lie down. We got on the wrong end of the monster's venom. Venomous monster, huh? Hmm. Venom. What monster is it? And we ran into an Anginath on the south side of the island. Could be Pookie Pookie if they're using world's monsters in this game. Because we've already seen Anginath. An Anginath? That's... Uh, uh, you'd better go tell Chief Gara. The village's safety comes first. If this monster in the forest is a threat, we'll go deal with it. Be careful. It won't go down easy. I know, but it could give us a clue about what's been going on lately. With Red and Guardian Rafa gone, we have to learn to protect ourselves now. Before we go, we'd better make sure we're prepared against poisoning. You should have known how to protect yourself even before they went, alright? I recommend making a trip to the merchant and stocking up on antidote herbs. We can do this, partner! We were born for this! Poisonous peril. Okay. I should probably make stuff just because I know I can. Uh, pinballs. Uh, mm, I'll make you instead. Will it count? No, no, no.
Okay, yeah, I can. Okay. It still technically counts. Why did I cancel out? Okay, I need herbs again. That's fine. I'll get them in passing while I go to the next area. Get some antidote herbs while I'm around here. Welcome. Welcome. That's actually going to make me go straw into the field. Fair enough. Okay. So... Wait, there is a side quest. Huh. I'll grab that real quick before I go. There's no harm in getting all of them. Hey there. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll get that one too while I'm still here. Chicken decapitate. <laughs> oh, I love that. It'd be Burn Chris that's wanting me to be to make. All right, you, and then give them Burn Chris. <sighs> no. I don't want to equip it, I'm good. Hmm. I like the idea of fire damage. Spread parkouring. Blast fire chase. Hmm. Debating on you. If 
fire defense boost versus dancer. Hmm. Weak point of water, weak defense increases against fire. So none of them are poison resistant anyway. So it's not like I can evade the damage that I'm gonna probably be taking. Thank you. I have to actually equip it. Okay. I don't get why, but okay. Dave can go here, you can go here. Welcome. I don't seem to get bonuses anymore based on that, so I'm gonna go for this armor because the fire defense boost while it's not useful right this minute it's better than nothing I have more of a weakness to ice but I'm not in a nice area so oh well doesn't matter Take care of yourself and thanks for tuning in. And there we see water chests that I can't get to. I don't think. No, I can't. Okay. Huh. Fair enough. There'll be chests later on in the water that I can't get to. That one's almost locked off. Okay. Leave me alone.
my Clolette's here. Neat. I'll ask you if you want to swap monster. Meanwhile, you normally had to do it manually. That's why I was doing it manually, because that's what I expected of the game. It's going to be like, yeah, no, you have to do this yourself. Which is fine. Just that's a nice change for convenience. Poisonous spitting monster, yeah. There's a lot of prey. Don't have climb yet. Okay. Hopefully, I get either climb or um, climb, fly, or but fly. I highly, highly doubt. I'll swim at some point soon to utilize as I progress. You are not the one. Yan Kuku or Yan Kuku or Yi Kuku, leave me the hell alone. The poisonous monsters anywhere, it's gonna be bloody here. What are you gonna be if you're a puka puka? Then it'll be neat just to see you. Mole world monsters, let's go. 
Hey! The moment they said poisonous and they showed an engine up beforehand. Hey, buddy. You gave me a hard time in world when I fought you for the first time. So murder. You look so good in this game. Damn. I assume technical and speed is a guess. So I'm gonna swap just in case to you. Crunch time, uh, preparing venom. I would not count this monster as a favourite at all, but that's just me. I have a huge fondness though for the Megala line. Really? That was cake. Okay, I can restore myself. Sweet. goes to power.
Give me a pookie pookie egg. I want poison. Poison is good. Grab all of this stuff. Save yourself trouble later, but come a harder. So that's what Puka Puka egg looks like, I suppose. Wrong button. Welcome back. And yeah, I don't think there's long left. I think it'll stop before we go to Rafa. I was right on it being a Puka Puka though, which is neat. Actually, I want to hatch it. could be both better and worse. Manage, let's have a look at what you can do though. Raw. That's not even that great. Huh. There's a main ability. That's a shame. Oh. Chief, we've got cause for concern. We ran into an Anginath and a Puke Puke. This place isn't safe. Anjanath? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, it attacked us right out of the blue. I don't know if this is because of Guardian Ratha, but strange things are happening all over the island. Hmm. Without Guardian Ratha's influence, the monsters may be having a hard time restraining themselves. I thought so too. We should investigate the Guardian Ratha woods. That's where all this started. Of course. You both have my permission to enter the sacred mountain. But make sure you're ready. Okay, so it's actually gonna let me go to the woods. Whether it'll let me in or not is another story. 
Okay. We'll go armor. Oh, I love how cute the armor set. I love the hat. Auntie Venom. The tail. I wonder if they've added the tail into providing poison. It's like Raffian could poison. Hmm. Standard defense, yeah, that'll do. Let's have a look at your art. Ooh, you are cool looking. Blooming life on the main slot, and there we go. Whew. Wait, is it giving me another monster slot? Like, if it's done that, I will add them. If it hasn't done that, then no. Meh. Manage. No. Wrong one. Edit monster pie. No. It hasn't. There's still only that many monsters I can have. Then no. Sorry, Pookie Pookie. I have no issues with you at all. Just no. Sweet. Let's get going. Actually. Swap to you. Your only use, Bullfankus. Your only function. You dash. van over here and there's also a treasure chest there why the hell did I get off wrong button brain please so back to you 
have just a quick peek around. I could have fast traveled, but I didn't know the location, so oh well. Get the chest. Mm. Leave me alone. Yes, and flip poison. You know it's humiliating when a herbivore can kick your ass. Sure, free food in game. Why not? Okay, other side. That was a trick. Thanks, game. Can't get up there yet. Hmm. A lot of areas that I'm gonna eventually have to return to because I don't have monsters that enable me to reach them. Tis a shame. At the same time though, it increases playability of the game. Replay value of locations is better off as a result of that.
give. Uninterested in fighting you. You are not a raffle hoops. Halfway there. Hmm. Leave me alone. You as well. Oh, hi. Leave me the hell alone. Hold me over here. You want me that badly. But since you can't, no. Thousand Zenny. I'm gonna have to pass you on the way back though. People, come to me. Yes. Incredibly useful asset to have.
I'm glad you manually don't have to crawl under anymore, though. Time to potential- oh! Jesus Christ! This game isn't meant to be scary and it jump scared me anyway. Oh god. I almost ran into that face forward. Jeez. Ugh. These are sacred grounds. Let me pet him. Let me. He was my boy. He passed away, but he's not the loaves came back. Besides Red, Guardian Ratha would never let anyone else ride him. I'm sure he's waiting for Red to come home. That's what Chief Gara always said. But this Red guy's not around anymore, right? So why? The truth is. Once a monster forms a bond with a rider, it never forgets them. Remember that strange light when Guardian Ratha left? Something must have happened then. Otherwise, Guardian Ratha would never have abandoned the island. Okay, let's take a look around. Yeah, leave it to me! My nose knows there's something here! Scout fly. Oh, hi! The one with the Rathalos egg. Is it? Red. No. Okay, this is a bit awkward. I can't believe my eyes! This is a bit awkward, get off of me! Sorry to say, but this isn't Red. Of course. There's no way it could be. It's just... Those eyes look like Red's. Red was one of our leaders. This is his grandkid. Huh? Red passed away a long time ago. I know. It's just I... I actually came to see Guardian Ratha. Red gave me something to bring back here. Something from Red? Oh. Whoa! 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 What was that? Oh. Something's coming over there. Oh, hi, Angela. Of course, you come back, damn it. And you have an aura around you that's abnormal. Kind of reminds me of the old game. So they kind of had like a darkness around them instead. Kinship stone. You might be able to use it to calm that monster down. Red's kinship stone? How come you have it? Red, he wanted you to have it. Take it. Works for me. It's very polite of the monster to wait for, for us. This? Rafa, come deck it. It'd be funny. Power attacker. No way it's not. Hopefully. Oh no. Power and speed then. 
Ooh. You had to take damage, didn't you? You bloody asshole. Okay. So it doesn't rotate until it swaps attack patterns, which actually makes the game easier than it was the old in the old one. So I can go technical and it should work fine. Yeah, it does as well. Now I'm gonna believe power. And if it's not, I'll actually be shocked. Okay, good. Not ideal, but screw it. No, no going to use speed. It should go back to technical now. Yes. The ultimate T-Rex. It has wings that aren't functional as wings. Kind of reminds me of how... Um, Blizzards have that thing on their neck that they puff up to make themselves seem more intimidating. Can I go beyond level 3 here? Or it's level 3 the max. 3 is the max. Oh god. Hit it while it's down, it deserves it. There you go, buddy. You couldn't just beat it. Right. Out of disappointment. I don't want to lose Moxie though. Oh. I'll heal you. Huh? 
You're an idiot. <laughs> Right on. No. Yeah, sorry, I'm not that nice. Yes. Victory. Nice. S rank for the dinosaur. Do I feel bad for you? Not really. We did it, buddy. You it were amazing. evil in world. I if it was thanks to that kinship stone. Not that I had trouble against you in world, but you were a pain in the ass Whoa! in blocking the us off. Stone up. Hmm. Seems like this one works differently than the ones I know. My old partner's kinship stone powered up after purifying the black blight. The black blight. I've heard of that. There's a way it could have come back, right? Right. Whatever's going on here, it's something totally different. It makes my first stand on end. But this could be something even worse. It's like Chief Garo said. Guardian Ratha leaving must have started all this. That's probably why the Anjanath lost control too. You okay, buddy? Do you really want to go near its mouth? Even if it is dead. No, it's not. Okay, you're just being just nice to I it. Thought. You really are like red. My name's Emma. Your grandfather and I were friends long ago. He saved my life. There's something I want to show you. Follow me. You're way too close to me. Stop it. Wait up! <laughs> She's just pulling me along like I'm some child that's done something wrong. <laughs> Got me by the wrist. It's like, come along, you little brat. I see that egg. It's a Rathalos egg, isn't it? I hid it here so the hunters wouldn't be able to find it. Leaving it on its own is it like a really nice bad idea. For sure a peppy little monster. But the scent is a little different from a regular Rathalos, though. Guardian Ratha gave this to me before he left. He wanted me to take care of it. That's what it seemed like. Wait, what? These strange happenings aren't confined to this island alone. Rathalos are disappearing from their natural habitats. Nobody knows where they're going. Monsters that are usually docile are acting aggressive. There are reports of people being attacked. That's terrible. So this is happening in other places too? That's right. The whole world is getting hysterical. And that's why I'm traveling around to find what's causing this catastrophe. What a mess. So when the ocean changed color and you saw that light, what was all that? I... I don't know yet. I wonder if they've added a unique elder dragon again. He said... He was something. He spoke about an omen of disaster. A disaster? Ah, uh, here you are. Huh? Chief Gara. Over here! I saw the light or so this way! They've got to be hiding that Rathalos somewhere. Find them! The hunters believe we're harboring a dangerous monster. They won't stop 
until they've found what they're after. If they see this egg, we're gonna be in trouble. That egg. We should go to Ruto Village. The hunters can't harm us there. Ruto Village? It's where I live. It's a Wyverian settlement. Humans aren't allowed in without permission. The hunters won't be able to follow us there. Come with me, please. I'm gonna follow us. I just know this Rathalos will help us once it hatches. What's the matter? Are you scared? There is nothing to fear. It's a big world out there. But Rathalos will guide you. It's so weird to see the protagonist as some old man. My egg now. That's my buddy! I knew you'd come around! But she's Gara. It's no mere coincidence. You were given Red's kinship stone and now a Rathalos egg. This is destiny. Fun fact Red's eyes change to match village. the player characters. You That's can hear neat. The legend of Ray's wing rock. Monster with the wings of ruin. The hunters were talking about that, right? A Rathalos with the power to bring ruin to the world? So the legend goes. I have a feeling it has a connection to the peculiar occurrences of late. All right. Leave the hunters to me. Nah. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. Bad idea. But it'll work out. No, it won't. I'm sure. You got what it takes to make it through this. Huh. You're my first student after all, right? No. Uh, Don't hug me. Get off of me. Why is my character happy? No. Watch out for the new weed. Got that navy roof? <laughs> you hurt him still. Yes. You have your grandpa's determined eyes. Take good care of his kinship stone. Go now. There's a boat at the bottom of the cliff you can use. Hell yeah. We have monsters yet. We're using a boat. Start. Get out of my bubble. No. Social fucking distance is a good thing for a reason. Get the hell away from me. That's good. <laughs> Nah, piss off, kid. Last. Tsukino. I'm here. I need Wait. you to tell them. Ninja cat. Moon's blessing a match. Ninja Palico. Give me a Ludra where I'm not going. Give me a Gaia Crusher, I'm not going. Yes. Ah. Hey, I got through. Okay. Neat. Well, thank you all for joining me for this. That was fun. I do really enjoy this game, though. I enjoyed the original, so I just know that this is going to be a nice chill fest for me. Not something I have to be, like, overly attentive towards the story on. Not something that's going to hopefully make me not... Not something that will make me mega bloody depressed or feel pain. Just a nice chill experience. And they've done a lot of quality of life changes, which I really appreciate because the original had some 
things that could have been tweaked and they have actually tweaked them like the switch mechanic for going near things that you have monsters in your team can interact with that didn't exist in the old game you had to manually switch your monster in and then there's the actual um, hatching mechanic they've made it so getting full genes seems to actually be easier which I appreciate as well they've made it so you don't have to bloody tap the egg and potentially miss out on stats that's a really good change I appreciate the quality of life changes and I appreciate how pretty the game bloody looks I've already got my pre-order in I got um, if anything the digital deluxe just so I could get the uh, extra armor stuff just because I have a feeling I'm gonna really like this game and I wanted it to be something I could have on my switch at all times so that's the reason I got digital instead so I'm really anticipating it not got long so thank you all again for tuning in i hope you guys had as much fun as i did and if you did i'd appreciate if you liked and subscribed and maybe stuck around for the actual full game when it comes because obviously that will be the next thing i'm streaming on the channel why does every switch game make pokemon look like crap because pokemon sword and shield really was crap compared to what it should have been there was no excuse for them to reuse the 3DS's vectors for the Pokemon at all. And they did, just to be lazy. And yet they didn't add a full Dex. Ugh. So don't get me wrong, it was fun enough, but... Disappointing? Yes. Yes it was. But yeah, this is basically my ideal version of the act, you know, the concept behind Pokemon based gameplay. Monster Hunter Stories, the original, did a fantastic job. This game's improving on it. So, until next time, have a good night, day, whatever time it is, wherever you guys are in the world, and hopefully see you in the next stream. Take care, everyone.